Wow. All right, so what just got handed to me? <laughs> it's just egg and tomato and avocado. Yum. It's food. <laughs> I'm not that impressed with myself. <laughs> <sighs> Looks pretty good to me. A lot of rocking. A lot of rocking. A lot of splashing. It's exciting. The seas have calmed dramatically because we are now in the protection of the island. Check it out. It's still windy. <laughs> that is night and day difference on the seas. experience in French Polynesia? Yeah, this one was kind of unexpected. Um, I wasn't quite ready. You did good for not being ready. Also, our trampoline just busted. Oh, dang it. I almost fell through. Seriously? Uh, not quite, but it scared me. Check that out right there. Oh. Why is everything breaking? Damn it. Supposed to be water somewhere over here. So that's what we're on a mission for. Water, so we can do our dishes from last night and this morning. There's just something about leaving your boat. It just always looks so cute. Cute? <laughs> that's not what everybody would call it, but she's cute to me. <laughs> what would be your descriptor? Looks like a boat. <laughs> I don't know. Let me reflect. It looks peaceful. Yeah. Peaceful back there. At least this anchorage. This is nice, actually. Yeah. Now that's cute. You have to admit that's cute. Right? Right. Super cool. So there's Minion. <laughs> there's the rumory. Rumory. Literally right right there. Couldn't have planned it better myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, what a day to come! It's um, they're harvesting the sugar cane right now, so she's going to take us in and show us how they're, I guess, getting the juice from the. Oh wow! Yeah, jeez. Yeah. Wow. 
now it smells really sweet. And the yeah. project the start in 2011. This is a red sugar cane. Yeah, it's dark. We haven't seen that yeah. before. Yeah. We take this variety because it's very sweet. That's so much juice! That's the sugar cane. With yeast? With yeast? With yes. Yeast, yes. And that's why it's For bubbling. fermentation. Yes. She said 24 hours. 24, 24 hours. That's it. She said it is all hand harvested because they don't have a machine to cut it. It is red sugar cane because it's sweeter. It's all organic, so they don't use any pesticides or anything like that. Organic yeast. Organic yeast. They turn this into compost for their field, and then eventually when they get their distiller, they're actually going to burn it, and that will become the fuel to distill the rum. Waste not, want not, right? Jason is not a white rum drinker, so what's the <laughs> verdict? It is sweet. It doesn't hit you in the throat. It's not like rocket fuel, acid sort of feel in the stomach or chest. So I'd say it's pretty damn good for 50% alcohol. Yes. White rum. It's surprising, right? Surprisingly good. I thought so too. I'm quite impressed, really. Mm -hmm. yeah. We usually like dark rum better. And of course, already I can tell by the smell, I'm gonna like this one even more. Bottoms up. Right? Yeah, similar. It um, does not have like a really harsh flavor or finish to it. It's really smooth. And it does have like a underlying sweetness for sure because of that red sugar cane. It smells like it over there and it smells like it in here, which is like, that's a cool experience. When else would you get that other than during harvest? That's pretty cool. I'm gonna say that a lot because I'm a little excited. <laughs> that's so cool, yeah. What a treat, man, that was good. Uh, we ended up buying a bottle of the Amber. She said, some people call it dark rum, they call it Amber. Mm. And she told us there's fruits and veggies this way, about five to 10 minute walk. That's all I have to say about that? That's, yep. Okay. I think that's it. <laughs> Look, honey, got your flower. Oh, thanks. Can you put it in the correct ear? Ooh, do you remember now? Left. Yeah, you're married. Aww. There you go. Voila. That's special. Thank you are you. special. There it is. That's like okay. a two minute walk. Yeah, right. Very close. Mm, those are. Man, those are the fattest ones we've seen. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's a plant. That's a... Look at that. Wow, wee. That thing is massive. This is bigger than my fist. Well, the same size. Okay. That's still pretty. Like, uh -huh. that's. That's just nutso. Tell me how nuts that is. It's <laughs> nutso. It is nuts. Have a good day. Maruru. Maruru. Atoshi. Anna. It's gonna sound totally biased, but can't help myself. The touristier the island doesn't mean that people aren't friendly, they're just busier. Taha is a much smaller island and not visited as much as say like Bora Bora, which we just came from, which was super resorty. And of course, like she was super friendly, all really nice. And you know, fruit, it's like, I, this was like $15 and we've like, I'm loaded down. And then she threw in some bananas just because. So it's, I don't know, it just feels different. They're so hospitable. So I don't know, feels good. I've just got here and I already like it. <laughs> I was gonna say uh, it might have something to do with the uh, the rum alcohol. Taste. Yeah, <laughs> in the five minutes we've been here, this is the best <laughs> island we've been to. We've already had free rum <laughs> and gotten fruit. I forgot to tell you how good that bag looks on you. Oh, thank you. Do you like my bag? I do. You too can have one of these. <laughs> Gonewithwinds.com. Swag. <laughs> That's a very loud motorcycle. Look at that food truck. I think we're definitely gonna have to come back here. Yep. Oh, there's a little foosball table over there. Nice. 
<laughs> cool. Alright. Very cute little town so far. Right? So much for water for now. The rum situation was much easier than the water situation. We found a hose and a spigot, but you need a special key, which we don't have. And nobody here seems to know how to get water. It says in the book that you can get water here, but we just don't know how. Yeah. Haven't run into the right person yet. No, it'll happen. All right, since we're not sure about the water situation, there is one more thing to do here. There's like this coral garden over there that's supposed to be an absolutely cool drift dive or something. Yeah, like, they call it like the magic carpet or something. I don't know. It sounds cool. Ready? <laughs> It's easy to see why they call this the magic carpet ride. We're swept away and carried into what feels like an endless maze of coral, fish, and sand. Some sections are ripping along so steady it's impossible to resist the flow, but fun to try. Drifting through the coral gardens, I start to feel less like Aladdin on his magic carpet and a lot more like Alice in the rabbit hole. It's all floating by so fast. It's too much to focus on and I can see the end is near. But luckily, this isn't a one-time only ride. Unlike the City of Oz, there's no man behind the curtain. And don't worry, that'll be my last movie reference for this video. This is just one of Mother Nature's amusement parks. The beauty is in the topography. The deep ocean swell pounds onto the reef like a steady drum, sending a constant flow of fresh, clear water funneling through these cuts, creating a well-fed river flowing from the ocean to the lagoon. Thank you.
been a very good day. Snorkeling was amazing, but we still have no water. So I think you should take me to town for dinner. I should take you to town. No, you should take me to town. <laughs> of course I'll take you, you to town. See how our negotiations go. Don't suck up for the camera. Come on. Gotta pretend. <laughs> Steal all your lip balm. <laughs> Deja vu. Yeah, deja vu. But we found the water. All the locals are at the gas station, like, hosing everything off. So at least we can get some for... Well, we're assuming. Dishes. Yeah. There might be a lock on that one, too. Oh, well, yeah. Maybe they had the key? And it's like straight up block party right here. It's just like a car and a stereo. That's all you need. Gotta go quick. Oh shoot, I think she just closed the door. B-Y-O-B. Hold on. Merci. Merci. Just made it. Saint Saint is how much it costs. Five dollars and twenty cents. For two beers. Approximately. Come to the grocery store and then it's BYOB. That's pretty awesome. Can't beat that. No. It's a very gentlemanly way to open a beer. For you. Yes. Uh, beautiful. Vegetarian chow mein. Luckily, the um, lovely lady at the counter spoke a little bit of English. We started asking her if it was possible to do it without the chicken. She's like, oh, vegetarian. We were like, yes. She's like, oh, no problem. We're like, yay. <laughs> Bon appétit. Bon appétit. So this is poisson cru, and it's a very Tahitian dish, kind of like poke would be in Hawaii, but this is their version. And it is tuna that they marinate in lime juice first, and they kind of pour that off and then douse it in fresh local coconut milk that is excellent. And then they put in the carrots and the cucumbers. Sometimes you'll see tomato, but normally that would be kind of it and onions. But this one is different. They have kind of their own take on it. And it is with the vinegar and loads of ginger. And it just has like an extra freshness that we haven't had yet. So this is by far my favorite Tahitian dish that I've had, I think. That's cool. And what's going on under the table? Me scratching because I'm getting all the, uh, the bugs are also eating dinner. <laughs> that would be me. The struggle is real, man. Mm -hmm. The bugs are, woo, man. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Let the midnight water run begin. See it? Right there. Okay. Solar showers are like the best investment. We've had these since like our RV and camping days. You stick these things. Way to go. <laughs> Just pay attention. Stick these things out on the deck. They get nice and hot. You got a hot shower. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the lights. Why, you feel like we're doing something illegal? <laughs> Technically it's not. Feels illegal. Just because it's dark, you have to shine a light. <laughs> and hold the camera. Fill up water in the back alley. <laughs> and a little black bag. Two solar showers and a bucket. We're set for a week. <laughs> Actually, it's true. Watch out. Woohoo, light. Lovely late night dingy stroll. Yeah. <laughs> 